Okay. Okay, hello Matt. A big applause for Matt. And Lisa. And Lisa. Okay, uh, may I ask you a question? Uh, we have an interesting installation here on stage. Please introduce it or her okay. to the audience. So everyone and their mother, I'm sure, has been exposed to the Wii. And what the Wii did was it, it broke conventional grounds as far as what we thought as consumer game controllers. Now all techno geeks, all electronic geeks, they all they knew alternative controllers were out there and they've studied it for a long time. But now, on a public scale, we're starting to question what can we interact with to make a different gaming experience? Which also leads us to ask, well, what can we learn from this interaction? And so, what I decided to do here was more or less mimic the discovery of a female orgasm, but reduce it to a game-like state. <laughs> so, like the female orgasm, there is no instructions. <laughs> you have to discover it yourself. So Lisa here is equipped with, she's got two potentiometers on each nipple. She's got a rub sensor. She's got some star sensors on the back. And don't worry, you're all going to get a chance to play with this. She's going to be set up all weekend. Um, and then there's a rub sensor on the neck. There's also some photo sensors which detect presence in her eyes. So, based on your combination of interactivity, how you rub, how you tweak, you'll excite her to different levels of modes. The internal programming is actually quite interesting. It will crossfade between low moans, medium moans. Every now and then she uh, wants some enticement, so she goes on her own. Um, so, if I slowly start to rub, I can maybe warm her up a bit here. Let's see if we can get... She looks starting with her neck. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, she needs both hands, I guess. So. Well, it's a complicated procedure. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you can't switch with that. <laughs> Maybe it's both so, if you work together. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gave her a So this is the this is not about the finished product this year, but this is to expand your mind as to where we're we going with future controllers? Where are we going with what we're learning? And how is this changing our interactive experience with games and with other standalone devices? Uh, Morning Lisa is more about having a standalone game that you can try and figure out on your own. Mr. Brother, if you have, uh, I think so you have such a nice tuxedo. I think that would be cool for a vlogging audience. Please touch. <laughs> please uh, touch Lisa. Uh, I uh, recommend rubbing slowly. Uh, I mean, that's the like that's one hundred percent sleaze. Put some pressure. In. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you put some pressure into it, you get a stronger. Turn the speakers up. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like you. Maybe that's, that's working. Oh. <laughs> Should you like your stage? I, I, I tell you what, I, I hide in the dungeon in the meantime. <laughs> Give 
one preference to one sensor, she gets bored. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions from the audience? And I guess there are some more, aren't there? Ah, yeah. Okay. How come, you made her, how come you chose to make her moan in a hundred voices and not just one woman? Uh, okay, so that's possibly a question about uh, the found footage, or how do we call it? Where do we have the, like, the, the, oh, all the information? Oh, where? Okay. So why is it just like one moan? Is it actually like uh, the sound that you use? Is it like one person moaning or a different person moaning? It's 200 people. <laughs> <laughs> it's 200 people moaning. And I, I wish I could make up some philosophical statement. In fact, I will. Um, <laughs> it's the essence of humanity. No, I, 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 I got nothing. She really? is legion! Yes. She, she, yes, she is the empirical woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, really, I just thought it sounded cooler to have multiple women come out of her. Uh, and as far as like setting up, <laughs> um, as far as setting up interesting sampling techniques, uh, I'm an audio geek. Uh, that appealed to me. So, and it, it would be a lot harder to have one continuous moan going without hiccups. So if you overlapped many moans, you can have a more dynamic performance. Okay. Yes? So I, I imagine there must be some pattern that, that allows her to reach climax, and, I, and I'm wondering if that pattern was modeled off of any particular person, or if it was, <laughs> if it was like based on you know an average of, of any group of people. <laughs> Let's see, who's here? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, no it, it actually, I, I made the pattern based on uh, the sensitivity of the sensors. So, like the female body, uh, the pattern differs from person to person based on the sensitivity of their sensors. So, I had to use what I could work with. Um, any more questions? Can you win? Can you win? <laughs> um, De define winning. Uh, when is the game over? I guess, uh, uh, think about it in real life, I guess winning would mean that you got off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can can she fake an orgasm? <laughs> if it were fake, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> that, that, like that's artificial intelligence. If it's like somehow in the future we'll have artificial intelligence, and then we'll have like we think that all the all the machines that will work for us, they won't. <laughs> yes, machines won't work for us if they have artificial intelligence. They'll just say no. <laughs> Are you stupid? I'm not working for you. And you're like, bah. So maybe if she would be really intelligent, she would say no. <laughs> Question: Ah, you're one of the masters of. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when will you be releasing Moan Moan Revolution? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get the joke. I'm from Austria. <laughs> Yeah, um, it was mentioned before uh, you could win, but uh, Matt, can you, can you cheat? Um, in other words, does does she have a back door? Oh. 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 <laughs> so, is there a god mode? <laughs> That's almost too monotheistic, I guess. <laughs> I was thinking of putting some Easter eggs in her. Well. <laughs> To where she would just tell you to screw off. <laughs>